Hi guys, welcome to Disney Heart. Um, I know right now I do not have my Disney ears on, um, but I am going to put them on after I um, talk about some things. And I'm not going to have Liberty in this video because this is a turning red video. It's a review of my thoughts and then I'm going to go into my turning red haul and a comparison between some of the items. I decided to wear red for this occasion. Um, I got inspired actually to do this. Well, I got inspired to wear red for this occasion because another YouTuber, and that's Lizzie in Disneyland. I will link her channel in the description bar below as far as her channel. And I will also link her video on the turning red um, video as well. So that's why I decided to go ahead and wear red. I don't have many red tops like I used to. I need to get some more. But yes, yeah, so I'm wearing red right here and I'm going to put my chapstick on. Okay. So you guys get comfortable. Get yourself a drink, a snack, maybe a meal because this is going to be a long video. So I want to start out by showing you guys, because this is what I'm going to have on my head while I go into this review, but these are my turning red ears, my very new ones. I love them. And on the uh, side, it says Panda. And then on this side it says Power. So Panda Power. So I'm going to wear these while I talk about um, while I talk about the movie. So uh, Turning Red came out on Disney Plus March 11th. Thank goodness I have Disney Plus. I just got Disney Plus and I watched the movie and I must say I enjoyed it. Now. Uh, Turning Red really is a coming-of-age movie, Pixar movie, where we have a character who was 13. Her name is Maylene Lee. Uh, she's 13, and she has this generational curse. But she doesn't find out it is a curse until she starts going through all these emotions. And she starts, she turned into a red panda. Uh, I'm sorry, a red panda. Uh, she did not know that her parents knew of that and she was trying to hide that from her mother. Um, of course, when her mother find that, found out, she was not surprised and she started to explain to Maylene why she is going through what she's going through. Um, they... And I will say um, in this video, I will have some spoilers. So if you guys have not seen Turning Red yet and you don't want to be spoiled, then don't look at this video, watch the movie, and then come back and watch this video. But um, her mom is very overbearing, overprotective, and, you know, they uh, have this family temple that they worship uh, a woman by the name of Sunyi, I believe, or Sanji. Yeah, Sanji or Sunyi. I think I'm saying it correctly. For those of you who know, just let me know in the comments the correct pronunciation of it. <laughs> um, and so she's the one that started the whole Red Panda ordeal. Um, she started out by um, making that into, I'm sorry, her daughter, San, the, the person they worship, Sanji, her daughter's were red pandas and she created that and turned them into red pandas um for protection against others i believe to protect them against danger um so but red pandas are very sacred in in that temple and in, in the lee family is very sacred to them um there was a secret that Maylene's mother had and did not let her know what that secret was until at the very last minute when it was like okay I, let me let me say something but you will see in the movie that 
uh, Maylene's mother has this red necklace and what is in that red necklace is her panda and that keeps her from turning into it. That's where her inner panda is. Now, if it breaks, then she turns into a panda. Um, what else? But yeah, that's pretty much the basics as far as what the movie is about. Really, it's a coming of age uh, about a, a little girl who's 13. About pre it's pre in young girls. Mainly, we follow how things go the generational curse, uh, generational curse with Maylene. Now I wrote down some things in my Little Mermaid journal that I got from Magic at Your Door, shout out. Okay, so, but I will say there's a lot of controversy in turning red, I must say. Um, I wrote down other thoughts. So other people think that the movie was predictable everything was seen before in other movies now pre i don't now with me i wonder do i agree or do i not agree i'm gonna say i do not agree some scenes yes it might have been predictable but then there are some scenes where we thought and we knew well i thought it knew something was going to happen and didn't um um now, like I, like I'm just now getting into really watching more Disney and Pixar movies. Like I said, I have not really been, I have not really seen a whole lot since I was, since I was a little girl. Now, as I got into my adult life, as I stated in previous videos, I was raised and taught when you reach a certain age. You're not supposed to like Disney. You're not supposed to, you know. So, you know, I erased that from my mind. So now it's kind of like I got to reteach myself. I got to relearn a lot of the Disney movies and the Pixars and, and the characters and all that. I got to relearn all that. It's kind of like I'm taking Disney 101 right now. So um, I can't say I agree or disagree if... Uh, stuff that was in turning red is something that we've seen before and, and to be honest I, and, and if it is I think that's how it is in a lot of movies a lot of Disney movies or Pixar you know there are going to be some scenes or some uh, storylines or whatever that's also just like another movie that we've probably seen before um, I don't think that's a deal breaker I don't think that's really a, a bad thing but you know some people they don't like that they want to see each Disney movie different each and every time and you know sometimes people do run out of ideas and they can sometimes stick with the same idea same storyline but do it differently where others can still enjoy and still you know have that same um, passion for Disney if that if, if that makes any kind of sense um, also some people were saying incorporating it's incorporating periods, which is turning into the red panda. So pretty much Maylene, it's kind of like Maylene starting her period, but instead of starting her period, she turns into the red panda. Um, initially, her mom thought she started her period. And I will say her mom embarrassed the crap out of Maylene. Oh my gosh. Luckily for me, my mother was not that bad because my mother was also so overprotective when I was young, but it wasn't to the point where she embarrassed me the way Maylene's mother does. So that, oh my God. Um, <coughs> I should have bought my water over here. But anyway, um, yeah, it's pretty much, I don't really think it has anything to do with periods, to be honest. Like, it's just her dealing with a generational curse at a certain age that she did not get when she was younger. You know, like it, it might have a similar twist maybe as if she started her period because there are some females who start their periods sooner than others. But that's 
all females. With this in particular, I think it didn't have anything to do with periods. It had to do with pretty much her generation and her her um, her family uh, dynamic, her family her family linear lineage line, if that makes any sense, you know, where her friends didn't have to deal with that. You know, her friends did not have any generational curses where they turn into an animal, you know, or, or, or something else, you know, maybe their, her friends, um, generational curse was something else that has nothing to do with a red panda. So really I have to disagree with that part where it pretty much had a lot to do with periods. So um, some people said, um, the only reason why Maylene is popular now is because she turns into a panda. Where outside of her friends, nobody else liked her. But now she turns into a panda, she's cool with everybody, and they never took the chance to get to know May and instead of just wanting to like her because she's a panda. But, okay, in a way I agree but disagree with that at the same time because her mainly turning into a panda was not supposed to be something where um everybody in the whole school should know about that actually came about because Maylene had a hard time keeping in her emotions, keeping in her feelings. And every time she gets too excited, she turns into that. And it's embarrassing to her in the beginning. So she's embarrassed, but then people are seeing that so cool and stuff. But her thing is she doesn't think about it as, oh, you only like me because I turn into a panda. She didn't think about it like that. Her thing is, okay, I can use this to my advantage. So... It wasn't like she cared anyway, you know, because her thing is she had her main crew. She had her main friends. So, and to be honest, that's how it is in real life, really. You know, you have your, your real friends, you have your main crew. And as soon as there's something about you that's so unique that other people consider cool, oh, that's when they want to get in good with you. I mean, that's that's everywhere you go, not just within this movie, but in real life. But like I said, Maylene at her age was not thinking about it like that. So, um, I mean, and I and I feel like, okay, just because that scene in the movie, oh, so let me give it a, a negative review because that's in the movie. I mean, that's, come on. But, um, and other people's thoughts were how overbearing Ming's mother was. Which I agree. She was very overbearing, overprotective. Oh my gosh. I will say, May's dad was cool. Now, she he he was like the quiet person. He was like, you know, I let, you know, you do you. I'm just in the background, you know. It was kind of like, I felt like May's mom was more the aggressor. She's more the aggressor. She's more the talker where the dad is like, okay. And I don't know, I guess that's how sometimes, I don't, I guess that's kind of like the other way around because usually in some cultures, it's the woman that has to be seen and not heard and the man does everything, you know? But in this movie, it was like, it was the man in the background and the woman up front, you know? But I kind of like that. It's like woman power in a way, you know, women empowerment. <laughs> um, and oh my God, the food when at, at that scene after Maylene and her mom had a hard day at the temple and it was like that's gonna make dinner like um when they had that scene when he was making the dumplings and the and the um what's it called the oh my god what's that it's the the pig uh pork something oh my goodness Pork belly, yes. So, like you saw the pork belly, you saw the dumplings, you saw the the the, the green leafy lettuce, and oh, it was like just seeing that and how he was just preparing that. It made me so hungry, and I'm like, oh my god, like this looks so 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 good. So that was one of my favorite scenes. Um, personally, I think. You know, Maylene turning into a panda is actually really cool. Like, 
oh my goodness now of course when you're that age it's not cool to you because you're young you don't see the coolness in it until as you get older but literally i think it was i think it's cool that's something very unique where you can actually turn into something else you ain't got to be you anymore you can be something and someone else you know what i mean i think that's so awesome and so unique um, but like I said, she didn't have any appreciation for it until later on in the movie. And also, the movie was crazy funny. Like, it was really, really funny. I enjoyed it. Like, Turning Red became one of my favorite movies where I do not mind watching it over and over and over and over again. Now, uh, her friends, <laughs> man... When when they singing that song to Four Town, I'm like, hey, okay. So it was it was awesome. I personally liked it. So I don't, you know, all the controversy and stuff that's going around because of this movie. I mean, hey, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But me personally, I liked it. Mm, okay, and um, okay. Hold on, let me. Yep. So I guess I covered all of that. So I'm not going to talk anymore about the movie. I am now going to go ahead and get into the haul of what I have in Turning Red. Like, to be honest, before I even saw the movie, I started getting Turning Red merch and stuff because I knew for a fact. I was going to like this movie. I don't, well, okay. I was, I will say I was looking at the trailer and I'm like, oh my God, just by the trailer, I said, I'm, I'm going to like it. And generally before seeing a movie, I don't start getting merch, but I don't know what it was. It was something unique or something that, that just spoke or, or said something inside of me that said, this is going to be your movie. Start getting stuff pertaining to this movie so I did that and I'm so glad I did because I was not wrong about this movie now if I was wrong and didn't like this movie then I was going to be highly pissed but I love this movie so we're going to go ahead and get started um first things first is I of course I got these ears I got these from shop Disney and I also got this limited release pen from shop Disney which came right here but i'm gonna go ahead and show you the pen right here of her in her panda form with her friends i don't know if you guys can see that very well oops all right hold on those are her three friends and then of course here's the back but yeah got that and also on shop disney I got my little blush, <laughs> my turning red blush. Oh my gosh. When I say that Maylene is so snuggly, I mean, she is snuggly. O-M-G. Oh my gosh. Ooh. This would be a good, um, oh my gosh. This would be a very good little, I, you know what, I, I always mess up my words. This would be a good photo for, for the video or whatever. But yeah, anyway, so with the Shop Disney version, it comes with her hands together, like, like so. Um, but yeah, and here's the big deal big deal I sleep with her every night she's in the bed with me oh so and then what I like about her ears even though it's like this the only thing is of course this ear is bigger than this one but you can tuck it it has a thing where you can tuck the ear in like this and it stay and it stays sort of but yeah mm, I love her oh my 
gosh, I love her so much. So this is the first one that I got from Shop Disney. And then I got one that I got from Build-A-Bear. Okay. And I'll show you the Build-A-Bear version. As a matter of fact, and it, um, I have her birth certificate, which you can see in the background here. Hold on. There we go. All right. So this is the Build-A-Bear version. Hi. <laughs> of Maylene Lee. And once again, her tail. There we go. Now, what I like about this one, I got it where you can feel her heartbeat. Let's see. There we go. Okay, I don't know if you guys could hear that. I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all probably couldn't. But, yeah, you can hear and feel her heartbeat in here. If you, like, just do this, like, yeah. So, if you put your, your fist in her heart like that then you'll feel her heartbeat but I got that a little special edition at it um, I will say my experience at Build-A-Bear um, when I was in Maryland because this is where I got her if you guys hear anything in the background that's I don't know why now they decided to cut the grass and stuff right now but anyway uh, my experience at the Build-A-Bear location in Columbia Maryland um, when I got this it was okay. I just kind of feel like they were too much in a rush when I initially when I got um, Maylene filled. Um, her tail was not filled. And I kept looking and I'm like, okay, isn't the tail supposed to be bigger? And so they ended up messing that up. And then um, they did not give me my tag that, that comes on her. Um, well, I took the tag off and they had it in the box, but then they gave me a different box because they were too much in a rush. And I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, got that. But this is the birth certificate that I got right here. And I got her March 19th. And of course, I know I'm taking a while to film this video. And it's a while now that you guys are looking at this video. But the only reason why is because I was waiting for other things to come in the mail that has to do with turning red. And also, last but not least, I got this from Amazon, which is a smaller version of May. Um, only thing about this, her head goes back more. So, I don't know, this seems like, I don't, for some reason with this one, I don't seem like I'm too excited over this one. But we'll get to this one um, later on. Okay. Um, as a matter of fact, hold on guys. I drank so, so much water. I am going to uh, get up real quick. Um, I will have you guys just look at my little pin board and yes i'll be right back guys be right back let's look at that look at the pin board for your entertainment Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm so back. Okay, sorry, guys. <sighs> I've been trying to be on a diet, and I've been drinking a ton, a ton of water, and oh my gosh, I can't hold it no more. So, <sighs> I was indisposed for a few seconds. I do apologize. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. So, 
Um, so now we have the shop Disney version of May and we have the Build-A-Bear version of May. Eee, oh my God, this will be a perfect picture. OMG, love this one. Eee. Got the shot Disney and the Build-A-Bear. Oh, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about this one. Now, when I got Maylene Build-A-Bear version, when we was in Columbia, um, I, I, we, I had her in the bed with me and Chris, cause usually I always have plush in the bed with us. And so I liked it. Now, mind you, she was already with us, um, but she wasn't in the bed with us just yet. So I was trying it out to see how it would feel if the Build-A-Bear version was in the bed with us. And for some reason, this particular version scares Chris and it would not scare him, but he, it makes him uneasy because <laughs> it was in the middle of the night and he's, he's pretty much half asleep. He's not alert, you know, and he wakes up and all of a sudden he just sees this little smile on, you know, on top of Chris's face and he going to sit up there and throw her across the room. Mind you, I, I'm not aware of this because I am good and knocked out. I'm good and sleep. Um, I don't find out until in the morning when Chris tells me what he did. So he threw her and I said, why would you do that? I said, she is a new member of our plush children family. And you just going to throw her and this is her first night with us. And so he said, well, I'm sorry when you are asleep and all of a sudden you open your eyes and you, and you see that. Yes, you would have threw her too. So I'm like, oh, not necessarily. But he, after he threw her, he realized what he did. He got up and got her and put her back in the bed. So I would have never known. Because literally when I woke up, she was right where I left her. So that was a little story of that. So now I felt bad because I'm like, okay, I just got her. And it's her first night with us in the bed. And she gets thrown across the room. That's, come on, that's kind, that's wrong. That's kind of wrong. I was so mad. But, yeah. Lord have mercy. So, now, with this one, I will say uh, Chris loves a little bit better because her face is more cuter, more rounder, where where her face is more scarier, in his opinion. Now, I'm going to say which one I personally like better, and I'm not gonna lie. I personally like the Shop Disney version, which is this one, better than the Build-A-Bear version. Now, I will say there's some good things about the Build-A-Bear version because, you know, you can create your own birth certificate, You um, and it has like the little stamp on the foot, you know, and of course you can create little things within inside the heart. You have the heart in there and then she, uh, she has a heartbeat. So that's, th those are some good qualities about this one. But what I like more better about this one is the fact that she's more snuggly. I prefer, uh, I prefer plush that are more snuggly and I can sleep with at night. This one, I mean, she's not as snuggly because she's, a little bit on the firmer side but even if she was not on the firmer side i can't see myself really snuggling with this particular one and i and i must say i do have to agree with chris when it comes to the face expressions because look at both of the face expressions they're both different where she's smiling and this one just has like the mouth you know just the nose or whatever but it's like when you look at this one it's kind of like you just want to kiss you just want to kiss the nose you know it's like mm. but with this one it's like okay <laughs> you know so i prefer the shop disney version over the build-a-bear um however it's always good to still have both but for some of you guys who probably cannot afford both and can only afford one personally i would prefer you get the shop disney one 
um, over the Build-A-Bear one. Now, I will say the good thing about the Build-A-Bear one is the hands are also free. I forgot to mention. The hands right here are free where her hands are not. They're just like that. But the good thing about this one, you can put your hand underneath it and you can still as if you know as if she's really holding on to you your hands underneath here and her hands are down as if she's really holding your hands you know so i personally don't have a problem with the hands being attached like that some some prefer the hands to be free if you want that you can always cut um well i will say i don't recommend you cut it because i don't i would not want you to cut the stuffing that's right there so i mean i'm pretty sure there's probably another way you could that part i'm not sure but yeah but literally um with this particular maid i mean i keep her in my closet um like i said me and chris currently live in a hotel i've mentioned this in a previous video we currently live in a hotel so we don't have so much room so she lives in my closet along with my other plush and this one lives in the bed well on the bed sorry because she's she is definitely one that i sleep with every night and she's going to be my new travel buddy as well like literally i don't know what it is but in all the plush that i own and have it just seems like i just kicked everybody out and I just deal with I just have May mainly like the shop Disney version it's like she is so so snugly it's like oh it's like I absolutely love her like I don't and I know that's so wrong because I mean there I have plush that's been here that that's that I've been sleeping with and stuff but yet as soon as I get a new favorite it's like they're gone you know and I know that's kind of wrong in some collector's eyes <laughs> but i don't know what it was with this red panda uh this version of maylene I, I don't know what it was but it's like she is my all-time favorite and i mean my all-time favorite now i still sleep with other plush in the bed but she's the only one that i sleep with and actually hold when i sleep um but yeah <sighs> But that will be in a later video. I, I do plan on doing a video of plush slash squish that I sleep with in the bed as well as have on my nightstand table right next to the bed. And I will do a, another video on plush and squish that I am going to travel with from now on. But yeah, it's like honestly, I will say if I could only choose two plush and nothing else, only two, I'm not gonna lie, I would choose Liberty, my engagement dog, who's made appearances in, in my videos. I would choose Liberty, and I would choose this version, the Shop Disney of May. And I know that's terrible because I have one other plush that has been with me for years. And that's actually been with me when I've gone through things and all that, but yeah, I choose this one over her. And I'm like, that's, that's wow, hold on. Sorry guys, my battery's about to die, but yeah. But it's like, ugh, wow. Like I am choosing somebody that's barely been here over somebody that has been, and that's, I know, terrible. <sighs> I have a problem, guys, <laughs> I have a problem. But OMG, mm -mm. man, I love both of these. I love both of them, I will say. I might talk a lot of crap when it comes to this Build-A-Bear version, but I still love her all the same. She needs love too. So, oh, but yeah, my fave. Now let's get now let's get down into talking about the mini version. Well, not the really mini version, but the smaller version that I have of Maylene, which is this one. Now, I got her mainly because I wanted one that I can start taking with me in my purse. Because when I leave to go anywhere, when I bring my purse, I always have squish or plush in my purse. 
and I wanted Maylene to be with me. And when I got her off of Amazon, the way she looked, she looked a lot more better than this one. When I got this one, I feel like this is it's kind of different than what I'm, you know. But what do you guys think? I mean, she's, I mean, for one, her measurements were wrong. It said on Amazon she was four inches. She's eight. Um, her head, like the way her head is, it's like it's back. It's, it's like it's back like that. And instead of like, you know, I try to, you know, do this to make her head more in front. But I don't know. I just, for some reason, I'm not connecting with this one. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know maybe if I need to keep her out more and see if it comes and I get connected. I don't know. Like, I know she's, I mean, I can't snuggle with her really. And of course, naturally, of course, if, if I'm bringing a small one, you know, but that's fine. But I don't know. It just, I don't, like, okay, let's do another comparison here. I mean, what do you guys think? Look the, at the difference between the two heads, right? This head is more forward. This one is more back. And, and she, it's not, it's not really... And it's no fur, really. It's just, I don't know, I guess the, the, um, oh my gosh. Just the way it feels, this doesn't, you know, where this one, as you see, you know, you got your fur, the fur, and this one, as you look closely, it's just this, you know, and I'm not used to that, you know? I, I didn't think, because when I got this from Amazon, that's not what the picture showed. So, what do you guys think? I mean, like I said, I really want to love her. I really do. But I don't, I don't know. I really, I really, really do not know. I'm trying to love her so that she can start coming with me everywhere I go, like Liberty does. But I, I don't know. Like, all right, let me see if I can. I mean, I can't even tuck her. I don't know. I mean, I mean, the nose, I mean, her nose is cute and stuff. Like, I don't know. It just seems like her head is just more tilted this way. And I don't know. It just, it's so many defects within this, in my opinion. But if I had to rate it out of a out of a five star rating, I would give this a a two a two point five maybe a three. Um. Now, back to the Build a Bear version, I would rate this a. I would rate this a four star, and the only reason why I would rate this a four out of five is because I just wish the face was a little bit different, you know, but as far as, you know, maybe the same way as this, but I guess it's going by the emotions as shown in the movie, the different emotions of the panda, where you have this emotion, then you got this emotion. So I guess that's what they're trying to do. It shows the different emotions of each panda. But I, like I said, I give it a four, a nice good four. And me with my baby, you know, I give this a whole five. Oh, like I have no complaints about this one. No complaints whatsoever. Even though, yes, the ears are, you know, one bigger than the other. But honey, that is okay. I, I do not care. Like literally, I... I am tempted to buy a second Shop Disney edition of May. I'm so tempted to buy a second one. Just in case something happens to the first one, at least I always have a backup. So, like, literally, I'm so tempted. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, yeah. And, oh, and here's a tag, guys, that came with the small one. Um, okay. Right here. 
so it's the panda rug may so but it's the just play edition i don't know if that you know but yeah guys so that's my video we are 40 minutes in so i told you guys it's going to be a long video but yes i hope you guys like this and oh my rating for the movie out of five stars five five out of five i have no bad things to say about turning red at all and of course everybody likes what they're gonna like they are entitled to their own opinions so i respect that um but me personally i love turning red <laughs> I love it. And I do plan on getting more merch in Turning Red. I was going to get a, a Turning Red shirt, but then I decided against it. But I do plan on getting more Turning Red stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned for probably another Turning Red Panda haul. So, I'm actually going to make this video a part one. And then part two would just be solely more of a haul of Turning Red. So, definitely stay tuned for that. But if you guys like this very, very long video, and if, if you guys are still with me, thank you so, so much for just hearing me yap and talk and showing you guys my goodies. So, well, sorry, that didn't sound right. My turning red goodies. So, you know, if you guys are still here, thank you so much. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe to that channel, to my channel, I said that channel, to my channel if you want to. Uh, just also click on that bell right next to subscribe. That will give you guys notifications of all the updated content that I upload. Uh, new content is every Friday and Saturday. So yeah, guys. Um, oh, and don't forget, I will link Lizzie in Disneyland. I, I probably said her channel wrong, but I will link her channel as a whole in the description bar below, as well as her turning red video as well in the description bar below as well. So definitely check her out and subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed. So yeah, with that being said, guys, happy Disney's. Bye.